Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. So today what we're gonna be discussing is how to properly clean your car from car shows and how to possibly win trophies at car shows. Let's get it. All right, so welcome back family. So like I said earlier, we're gonna be talking about how to properly clean the car and how to possibly win trophies at car shows. So let's jump right into this video, man. So before I show you guys how to properly clean your car, I want you guys to take a look at my accolades so you don't think I'm capping. Like I tell you guys, I don't do no cap on this video, on my videos, on my channel, I don't do no cap. So I want y'all to take a look at my accolades right here. Let's Boom, let's count them out with me. We're not gonna count this one because that's a basketball one, as you can see, U.S. Army. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I missed one down here, 16. So yeah, 16, you know, no cap. And so y'all really know that I really do this. Y'all see it right there, clear as day, first. First, got another one over here somewhere. First, so yeah, man, you know, I know what I'm talking about a little bit. You know, I got schooled by an old school at one of the car shows some years back when I was starting out, and he he schooled me on the game, and I'm gonna school you guys on the game. So let's get to it. So, what you want to do is, of course, you want to clean your car, right? But when I say clean your car, you want to clean it good. You got to look at it as you have to look at it as if you were the judge judging your vehicle. So that's how you want to look at that. So what I do when I clean Berserker is so I clean my exterior, I clean my rims, I clean my engine bay, and then I clean my interior. And if my trunk is dirty, I'll clean my trunk. So those are the five things that I'll clean. And just to give you guys a walk around since y'all haven't seen Berserker in a while, I got the hood up. Let's let's go ahead and check the hood under the hood. So what I do is, since it's, it still looks kind of clean, so me, all I would have to do is just dust it off. But what I do is, I dust it off, and then I spray this spray that makes it shine. So I'll show you guys some of my uh, some of my chemicals that I use. So I make sure all that's clean. I get behind there, get all the uh, grime and dust, get all that stuff out. So that's pretty much it. What I do for the uh, engine bay, and like I said, I'll show you guys my chemicals I use. Um, like I said, second, it, well, I said first, clean the exterior. Berserker's dirty right now, so don't judge me. She's been sitting in the garage. So you do the exterior first, boom. Then you clean your engine bay. And third, I do my rims. And when it comes to the rims, if you have easy to clean rims, I would say like some of the easiest clean rims are like IROCs. You know, those are just, uh, I wanna say it's like five spokes. And you can get all the way in there and clean all that wheel, wheel well. But with these rims, I can't clean the wheel well that good because look how big my hand is. It'll fit, but then it gets stuck in there when I'm trying to, you know, turn it to do all this extra stuff. So what I do is I just clean the exterior. If I can, I'll try to clean as much as the inside wheel well as possible, but I don't really harp on it too much. I make sure my brake calipers are clean, you know, and that's pretty much it for the wheels. And then, you know, I come in the interior of the car what I do is I'll just uh, get some microfiber towels and just dust that off in there, you know. And then the trunk, my trunk's not really that dirty because I really don't keep nothing in it. But, you know, I might vacuum that out or whatever. And what I forgot to say about the interior is make sure you vacuum that stuff out too, right? So let's walk around to some of the chemicals that I use when I'm washing the car. So as you know, you gotta have your microfiber towels. So I got these little ones and I got these big ones. So you gotta have a variety, right? So I'll uh, go, into, go into some details real quick. So the reason why I got small ones and big ones is because the small ones, I use these, like let's say I uh, wash the car at home. I get a bucket, you know, get you a little bucket or something, hot water, I get a microfiber towel like this, and I get two of them. One, you dip it in the water, wipe the car down with, the second one, small one you get and you go behind that and dry it off. The reason why I got these big ones is because when I go to actual car, 
when I go to the actual car wash and I go to the brushless, sometimes I'll use the you know the spray gun and then if I'm like really pressed for time, I'll just use the brushless. I'll run through that and you know those dryers don't really dry the car off that much. So that's why I got these big towels. I'll dry the car off with that. And then I'll drive home or you can drive on the highway and dry the car off. A lot of my buddies used to do that. Just run through the car wash, the Brussels one, and hit the highway like 60, 70 miles per hour, turn around, turn around, come back home, car's clean. Or it's dried off. But I don't like doing that. So I come back to the house and drive my car off. So this is some of the chemicals I use. So I use Chemical Guys Silk Shine. You know, I use this for my wrap. What it does is it makes the wrap shine. You know, wraps, like matte, my car is matte. So most of the time, matte wraps, they, they don't really shine. They just look, you know, they look matte. I don't know how to explain that, but, <laughs> you know, they don't really shine. They look kind of like dull. I guess that, yeah, that's the word. They look kind of dull. So I use that to bring out the shine in, in the wrap. So I use this jet black spray on all my gloss black pieces. My front splitter, I'll use it on my uh, rims. I use it on my side skirts, my side mirrors, my trunk, my tailpipes. Anything that's gloss black, I would use this on. And then of course, coverall, as you can see that's tire shine. I use this on my tires. This is the best tire shine that i found to this day. That's why I keep buying it, I love it. I did a video on this a few years back, so you guys can go check that out for yourself. And also, it doesn't just work on tires like you see right here. It works on a lot of stuff, man. This stuff works on anything that's like matte. So like my other car right here, those side skirts are like matted. I'm gonna spray this on it and watch it bring the uh, shine back. I ain't crunked this car up in like four months, so I know it's dead. But check this out, right? You see how ashy that is, right? Now let's... Boom, brought it back to life. So like I said, anything that's matte, spray this on it and it'll shine it up real good. Also, this is what I use in the engine bay to give it that shine. I'll demonstrate that real quick. So like I said, you know, all you gotta do is wipe it off, spray it, oh, spray it the wrong way. Spray it, it'll shine it up, you know, and then you just wipe it down, get it looking real nice. So I use that on that. And you know, glass cleaner, self-explanatory, use that for the glass. But yeah, that coverall, I use that on anything that's matted, or if I just wanna bring some shine to like my little interior pieces or engine mods, I use those. Also, what you can do is you can use these wipes for your interior. I don't, I just rather, you know, because my interior is never really that dirty. So what I do, it just gets real dusty. Take a microfiber towel and just, you know, wipe that off after I vacuum the car, you know, wipe that down and hey, we good to go. So that's what I use on that. Now, next, I think that's it for how I wash the car. If you guys want, to see a, uh, how, I how I physically wash the car, leave me a comment down below and I'll make that happen for you guys. So, let's talk about the judging. How does the judging work at car shows? Honestly, it all depends on the judge. You know, I wanna say this uh, first. Some judges like plain and simple, you know, like far as the car, like stock pretty much. And you know, you got other judges that like the exotic, crazy, uh, body kick type of cars, you know, so you got those type of judges. So just be mindful of that. Now, so some of the things that these judges look for, they look for cleanliness. Like I said, they look for things like how the car look like. Let's say if you got a body kit or, or not, if you got a uh, nice rims, if you got color change of lights, uh, some even like, like loud exhausts, you know, uh, if you have aftermarket parts in general, you know, they look at those things. So, so yeah, those are some of the things, those are some of the things they look at and they give you points for. Something I forgot you guys. So also you can get judged for like best paint, best engine, uh, best, they might make some trophies up like best rims, but yeah, you get points for all that. I forgot to mention that, but like me, I got a wrap, you know, they could have like, best rap or something like that you know who knows but yeah i forgot to mention those things so i thought i'd hop back on here and mention it real quick some other things they give you points for is i'm gonna i'm gonna flip the camera and i'm gonna show you on the berserker some of the things they look got the so since we got the hood propped already i'm gonna show you some things that they look for 
So some of the things they look for is if you have color underneath your engine, underneath your hood. So like I had this color wrap right here. I may get points for that. I just recently painted my old dipstick. I might get color for that. But you see all these engine caps, engine covers. If you paint all of those and sometimes people paint these, you know, gives it color. That gives you extra, that gives you extra styling points. Like I said, body kit gives you styling. Aftermarket parts like body kits give you styling points. Those uh, colors give you styling points. Uh, when you come to the interior of the car, like if you have color in there, like I do, the carbon fiber, uh, as you can see, I got the carbon fiber all in here and the blue, you get points for that. You know, I got the blue, uh, we call those paddle shifters. You get points for that. I got a custom, uh, what do you call this? Uh, air freshener. I got a custom air freshener. You get points for that. You know, clean cleanliness of the vehicle just all around. You get points for, you know, if you got like, you see, I got those floor mats. You get extra points for that. I took this one out because it ripped up, you know, if you got stuff in the trunk, you get points for that. I don't have anything in my trunk, but let's say you got some nice uh, 10 inch speakers or 12 inch subwoofers. You get points for that stuff, man. So pop your hood. Cause I didn't know you had to pop your hood. So I started popping my hood, even though there's nothing in there, but it's clean, you know, I'm gonna eventually get something in there. I don't know yet, but I'm thinking about maybe getting some transformers like Autobots versus Decepticons, something of that nature, you know, but you get points for all that stuff, man. Um, oh, one other thing you get points for is, so something else you guys get points for is if you have a hood prop and door prop, which I have those right here. I'm about to flip the camera again and show you guys. So if you have, this is my hood prop, as you can see, Berserker. And this is the Septicon emblem that I have on the side of my car. Those are the door, uh, that's the hood prop and those are the door props. So you get points for that stuff, man. And as you can see, mine's is, is carbon fiber. I don't know if you guys can get that, but it's got like a carbon fiber weave on it. So you get points for that stuff. So, you get points for that. I don't know if I mentioned color changing lights. You get points for that. So as you guys know, Berserker has the color changing lights, but they messed up a few months back. I haven't been able to get them fixed yet, but uh, eventually I will get it fixed because I miss my lights. Everybody loves the lights. Before I get any mod, I would get the lights. Let me say that again. Before you get any mod and you're trying to show off at a car show, get color changing lights. Mark my words, everybody loves them. When I had them on, man, people would stop me, wave me down, want me to pull over. Hey, man, where you get those lights? How much it costs? Who installed it? You know, things of that nature. So lights, I'm telling you, everyone loves lights. I've been to a car show. Uh, me and my, uh, I have my own car club, as you guys know. We went to a car show, and I think it was this one over here. I'm about to, it's when I won this, I won this first place right here, this one right here. I was in Gower, Gower, uh, Kansas, or Gower, Missouri. One in, I don't mean no one in Kansas. I always say I'm in Kansas, hell, or Missouri, whatever. So we had one of those shows, right? We had the lights going. Everybody came, they came to, they migrated towards us. And we were the last, like some of the last people to show up. But once we got our car clean, you know, I put my door props up. We turned the color change the lights on. Man, those people started flocking to our car. And we won first place. So color change the lights first. Then you get your aftermarket body kits and all that good stuff and your speakers and all that good stuff, right? Okay, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I got, man. Uh, if y'all want to see any videos in the future, let me know. Hit me down in the comment section. Uh, if you guys think of anything, hit me down in the comment section. Y'all know what to do, man. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Good feedback, bad feedback. Any feedback is good feedback, and I'm out of here like that. Go!